Hello everyone, so today I'll be sharing about my $150 baking supplies trip in a local baking store. That so I've gotten this 12 cups non-stick cannelli mold. I thought it would be very interesting um, given that all the French pastries are in trend now in Singapore and I'm pretty sure people will want to see um, a recipe for this. And after which I've gotten a lemon grater which I think will be really sexy especially since um, I think a lot of the graters that I have are the more old-fashioned kind where I have to grate uh, really hard but I thought this would be like really convenient for me to just grate right on top of the cake directly of which I've also gotten a silicone baking mat so yeah all of this will come with like the set size so that there's no need to like take a ruler and measure every time you try to roll out it's really nice that everything is already measured for you and I think this is a worthy investment finally I also have the most expensive item of this lot which is a marble rolling pin it's very frivolous it's very heavy and I think I like that it adds some weight but most importantly I actually got it because of the aesthetics of it I think marble looks really good and this is my first time I'm unboxing this so let's see how it look and I can't wait to use it but this just this one I'm just going to tear it open and uh, show you how the mold will look like So now we have the second and third bag which are the um, ingredients and some of the smaller equipment. So for here I've gotten some marshmallows, so it's just honestly for me to eat. Uh, so these are the little leaves. After which I've also gotten a very nice pizza cutter knife. So it always feels like as if I I have it, but every time I search in the kitchen I don't have it, so there's no harm always in uh, getting one, especially in my cut um chewier uh, forms of bread as well and it's quite an investment and it's just 450 from after which I've also gotten some um, food decorative pens yeah so these are food coloring pens and I thought they would be really nice um, to just draw on details especially for things such as uh, macarons uh, things with like hard shells or even cookies I'm going to try this out to see um, how it might make any decorating work much easier I have gelatin powder I've always wanted to um, never had the courage to try it. I think previously I bought gelatin powder and expire. I think a lot of us can relate to you know buying ingredients to try out because we want to be adventurous but um, eventually it expired and we can't use it anymore so this time I bought it again and um, of course a smaller packet just in case but I'm going to try to commit myself to at least trying it um, maybe once or twice before it expire so wish me luck. I'm super impressed because this is a whole block of unsalted butter 250 grams and it's from Germany and I read the ingredients it's just like any other butter but I have yet to try it in my baking I'll update you after I try it but I'm just so impressed like 250 for this lot of butter and I only bought 4 blocks it's not like um, I bought it in bulk or anything it's just 250 and we all know how expensive butter is in baking and we all like butter but no harm giving it a try and I have uh, good vibes about it looking forward I mean before it goes out of stock right this uh, blueberry pie filling so um why i buy this okay honestly i'm not a huge fan of um this kind of pie filling or art, but this one seems so interesting since um they say that it can be used for a lot of functions right i think you can see it here so um for filling dessert um topping gelato spread and beverage so it's so multifunctional and since this week i'm doing a whole this i'm oh, sorry this month i'm doing a whole series of blueberry recipes i'm going to give this a go um, and hope that it works out but so far I've given a small little taste test it's not as sweet as I expected and I think it's going to be very good to work uh, for desserts with so we have the fourth and final bag of items so uh, this one I've already opened is uh, just a very simple baking rack but I thought for the price why not just get it and um, ultimately it looks good enough for photography as well especially um can't really see but um, the shade of silver is really nice. I've also gotten um, some traditional silicone ice cream molds. I thought this would be super interesting to make some popsicles, especially you know in this place. In Singapore it's always so hot. I would like to ex explore making um, maybe some popsicles and icicles and ultimately they're quite easy to come around, come about. You just need a blender, some um, ice, milk and fruits and it should just come about very easily. But I'm also wondering if I can make uh, icicles with it. 
like cake popsicles. I'm not super familiar with uh, making shoe pastry or especially eclair but I thought a mold would be helpful for making consistently shaped eclairs especially when it's always challenging to gauge how much um, to pipe for beginners so since I've never tried this before I'm going to use a mold to help me out before um, I get more conf confident with shoe pastry making. And the last two items are very important items um, in the kitchen. They are really affordable and I think and everyone should get there. I didn't know they exist until today for this item. So for this item is a piping tip brush. So this piping tip brush is very useful because um, a lot of times it's always very difficult to wash our piping tips. And a lot of times um, I will have to use hot water and even then it might not be clean. But for this brush, it really goes into the nook and cranny of every single piping tip. I mean it's just $2 so I think it's a very worthy investment that anyone can just get. And finally, uh, the last item is an egg yolk and egg white separator. So I'm very sick of separating egg yolks and whites. I think everyone can relate to that. Especially when you accidentally get a little bit of egg yolk into your whites and you have to restart the whole thing in such a waste. So I hope that this um, equipment, this tool, will be able to make my life easier and it's just $2.50. I hope it doesn't fail. So these are all the things that I've gotten and I think they are super value for money. If you would like to find out more about where you can get them, of course you can also get the um, from this store that I went uh, with Singapore, you can either get it online, which is what I have done, and uh, it's free delivery above $80 if I remember correctly. But of course, you can also visit their shops. I think recently they have started a few uh, new shops. And I think what they offer is really unique, or at least I have never seen them before. I'm not too sure about you. But yeah, I'm really happy with my haul and I can't wait to start uh, making more recipes with them and updating you. With that, thanks for watching and have a nice day. Bye!